to remember now. God give Hollywood some kind of instrumental credit from a rapping side, not from an MC side. Mm-hmm. And Love of Starsky was the integratable part as being a younger. Kevin was born 61, seven years younger than Hollywood. Lovebug could do both, MC and DJ. Hollywood was the old rapping style, but he had a flow. He knows the records. And yes, Hollywood is instrumental to helping the change of hip hop, but he didn't like hip hop. Because hmm. he was never a B boy. He was a hmm. DJ, you know, he, he'd do his rap, you know, up in the tribe, you know, the Oon Tang, Oon Tang, I'm the one, yeah, you know, yeah, all yeah, that yeah. stuff. You know, he come from the era of the Wolfman Jack, you know, all those dudes, Jocko Henderson, that's when he was able to fit in. He he played for all the drug dealers, the Nicky Barnes, the Guy Fisher, they all hired him. He was the first in Apollo, all that Hollywood, yes, Hollywood. But when Flash New came, a younger generation of DJs came, that's not what you do. He learned he could do certain things on the mic, but you ain't prolific as to the yes jet jaw to the beat jaw and you don't stop that body rocking this the on and on the on that's not hollywood you was too right. old for that your dialects of your of your speaking right right you had a different mm-hmm. ain't there it's just like my grandson 17 he walking like his balls just swinging everywhere i'm walking like <laughs> you know they got you know you just got that box when you're walking, yeah. you walk you know your balls swinging like, <laughs> <laughs> so when you look at Cool Cal and Melly Mel and Curtis blowing them, a lot of them sound like Hollywood. Even Hank. Right. Right. But eventually Melly Mel was God gift. I mean Creole, because Creole was better than Mel at one point. He was the number one MC with the three MCs. Cowboy mm. was just a great hype man, great voice. You know, Scorpio came forth and then Raheem came from the funky four to the Furious Five. Right. But right. Mel was writing those bars. You know, and everything just changed. It was just a nucleus of those five MCs. Three DJs, Flash, Disco Disco B was second and Easy Mike. I hope he get well, he has brain cancer right now. Oh, and, man. Uh, just to go and look at Flash in, in the park. Just DJ. Like, I don't care what other DJs you could look at, AJ or. Theodore was the second closest. The Shot Rock asked me the other day, yo, because Theodore had been the biggest flash. I said, yeah. If he, would have, if he was the DJ, if he was the DJ for the, for the Series 5, yeah. But mm. that's one group that just never kept it together. Right. Mm-hmm. They broke up and they climbed because at one point Charlie Chase was the DJ for the group. Oh yeah, for about five months. Oh yeah, wow, they kicked Flash out the group, and Raheem <laughs> had just gotten the group because they used to go to Charlie Chase's house to practice. So there was no Cold Crush Brothers at the time. Okay, well, but it's been Cold I- Crush. Kaz was casting a little fly. Kaz was a DJ before he was an MC. Right, 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 right. He got Tony Tone, Easy AD. He had other members, Ray Carter and all of them in the Cold Crush until initially in 81 with the official Cold Crush that we know now got together. But before that with Charlie Chase, no. And he was mm. played for a couple parties for Furious. When Raheem became Furious 5, they used to go to Charlie Chase's house to practice. Then they got back to mm. class. 